In order to stay safe, it's smart to do a safety walk. So this video is going to tell us some of the things that we should be looking for. Are employees putting their hands where they can be smashed or pinched? A lot of times between chains, boxes, or pieces of equipment or other things that are being lifted. Are there any employees standing near or under a suspended load? Are there any tripping hazards like uneven terrain or big rocks or piles of dirt that could cause somebody to trip? During the winter or spring, the steps get slippery, the equipment gets slippery, mud gets slippery, ice gets slippery, so those are other things you can look for. This one you may have to watch for for a little bit, but is there any equipment or people that are regularly crossing the paths of other equipment? Is any equipment working within the red zone of another piece of equipment? Sometimes they don't need to be that close to each other and they can still get the work done. Is there any unnecessary driving around or backing? The more unnecessary driving or transportation of materials or backing leaves the job more open to having an accident. Do you see anybody lifting anything really heavy, like doing strenuous work or exhausting repetitive work? That can result in strain injury or heat exhaustion. And the last one is awkward working positions. A lot of times this is where a lot of our strain injuries come from. As a leader of the company, we highly recommend that you do walks, job safety walks, and look for these things so we can keep our employees safer and find out better ways to do the work.